World's largest ball of twine, huh? Fascinating. I wonder what this is for. Uh oh. Oh, don't worry, Garfield. I'll save you from that awful piece of twine. There are times when I hate him. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you don't For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care Sell your remote control. I'm the best thing on. Time for lunch, Odie. And we're near my favorite place. You wait right here. If I'm not out in three hours, send the Marines. <laughs> Welcome to All You Can Eat. Help yourself to the buffet and... <gasps> Wrong. I left six ice cubes and a fig. No! Please, cat! No! No! Oh, I'll have some of this, and some of this, Please. and all of this, and... Oh, no. Oh, no. This'll do as an appetizer. Nice, perfect, more than perfect. He's, 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 he's adequate. Don't panic, little dorky. Oh, you are to be part of a great experiment. They laughed at me when I addressed the scientific convention. Oh, they laughed. But they will not laugh at me next time. Ooh, and why will they not laugh? Well, I'll tell me. Because next time I will wear pants. But also, I will unpeel my invention. Huh? <laughs> oh, do not fear, little poochie. I am Dr. Bean. Dr. Gabonzo Bean. I do mad scientific work and the one-hour film developing. Oh, here's my latest, greatest invention huh? since the cast iron mattress. <sighs> the robot dog. Bow wow. Bow wow. I shall make a fortune, a fortune, an absolute bundle of dough. Think of it. A dog that needs not be fed, needs not be walked, and it will fetch over 1,000 sticks on two AA batteries. It will never, never laugh at Dr. Gabonzo Bean again. <laughs> Who's laughing? Oh, it's me. Bow wow. Bow wow. <laughs> I'm ruined. I'm wiped out. I'm totally insolvent. Oh. False advertising. You didn't have all I could eat. I hope he restocks before dinner time. I'm hungry. Now, where's Odie? Hey, watch it. Let's go home. Bow wow. Bow wow. Bow wow. Bow wow. Your usual intellectual conversation? Shoving Odie off the table. That's not nice. But it's something to do. Yeah! Ooh! Ah! Painful paw! Painful paw! Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh 
Cody's putting on weight. But if I want to shove him off, I'm gonna shove him off. Here goes. When did Odie get clever? You want me to throw the ball and you fetch it? Okay. At least I'll get rid of you for a while. What is wrong with this picture? Here's some water for you, boy. That's the way John's cooking affects me too, fella. This isn't Odie. This is some kind of robot toy. Garfield, where did you and Odie go? This away. Stay. Were you here earlier, Garfield? Stay away! Keep your cat away from here, Arbuckle! Yep, I guess you were here. Let's look for Odie. Uh, how about this? Own your own robot dog. Comes complete with leash, battery charger, and robot fleas. Did you find Odie? Lassie, eat your heart out. It's... It's an Odie fest. Just what I needed. A team slur. We have to find the real Odie. Trying to find one that isn't metal? No, trying to find one that's empty. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Explain yourself and make a quick at the long show. I'm John Arbuckle, and you modeled all these dogs after my Odie. Hello. Hi, boy. Isn't your dog intelligent? Odie? Well, I wouldn't say that. No. Stop chasing your tail, bad doggy. No one will buy a dog that, 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 that is lacking in intelligence. Too bad, Doc. We're taking Odie and going. I'm run. All my resources spent on duplicating a dog lacking in discernible intelligence. Hey, he's dumb, but he's ours. Come on, Garfield. <laughs> All these dogs I made, <laughs> and I forgot to put in a brain. I'm kind of hungry. How about you guys? You have to ask. No. No, Arbuckle, you are not bringing that cat in here. I just restocked my buffet. Oh. What if Garfield stays outside? Okay, you and the dog can come in, but not that cat. You wait out here, Garfield. Not fair. <laughs> How much can a dog like that eat? Arbuckle, how many dogs you got? Why, just one. How many do you see? I guess I've got a lot of new mouths to feed. <laughs> Lucky there's only one Garfield. And don't you forget it. Okay. 
time to end it. Uh oh. I got it. I got it. I am just a worrying duck. I worry about anything and everything. <laughs> sure, that's easy for you to say. You're not talking to a moo cow. Well, severe, very severe. Uh oh, coming. I got it. I got it. <laughs> To coin a phrase. Sorry, wait, but it's my turn. <laughs> ah! Oh, gee, oh, gee, I busted my leg on a moo cow. Orson, take a look at it. I win. Lucky shot. Give it to me straight, Doc. I can take it. Wade. No, I can't. Lie a little bit. Wade, there's nothing wrong with your leg. Nothing? Nothing. Our new table tennis table. Can't you fix it? My leg is okay. Orson said so, and Orson knows. Yes, I'm afraid it's broken in several places. Yeah. Maybe you can glue it back together. <laughs> glue won't help. Maybe nails. What? Oh, oh, oh. I'll get the hammer and you can give it a couple of whacks. <laughs> I don't know. That other one doesn't look too good either. Oh, gee! You! Wade? Uh, what's the panic of the day? Well, Orson and Roy want to operate on me. They think they're sturgeons or surgeons or something like that. Oh, whoa, is yours truly? Ooh, I gotta hide, or at least hide my body so they cannot operate on it. I bumped my head, but it's okay. I wasn't hurt at all. No way. Hey, Wade, where you going? You don't have to be afraid. Doctors will help. They make it feel better. They're good at giving first aid. They spend all their lives trying to make you feel better. They don't want to see you in pain. Come on, Wade, there's nothing to fear. No point in going insane. People go to doctors, pets go to doctors, doctors go to doctors, too. They don't have fangs or big claws, either. They just want to help you. You. If you've got a sneeze or even bruised knees, their medicine will make you all right. A doctor's your friend until the end. He never hurts you on purpose, but Roy here might. Wait a minute, you're not a surgeon, Roy. I operated on a man just yesterday. For what? For $900. No, no, what did the man have? $900. No, I mean, what did you remove? The $900. No, what was his complaint? The $900. Okay, Roy, you carve. Scalpel. Scalpel. Sponge. Sponge. Salt. Salt. Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Those little potatoes your mother likes. Those little potatoes your mother likes. It's no use. Nothing will save the soup. Let's operate on the duck. Okay, we're taking out your tonsils. I don't need my tonsils taken out. Hey, I've never lost a patient and I don't aim to start now. Help. Oh, help me. Help me. Oh, my. Oh, they're going to get to one to do. Help. Oh, <laughs> my
Oh no, don't operate on me, please! Oh no! You weren't serious about Orson and Roy operating on you. Oh yes, they want to fold, bend, spindle, and mutilate my poor self. Wait, that's ridiculous. Yeah, even for you. It is, isn't it? Well, table's as good as new. Told you we could fix it. You're right. They're not doctors. And anyways, doctors help you. Doctors are your... Careful, wait. Yeah, you're leading up to another song cue. I will never be afraid like that again. Wade needs a backbone operation. He does? Yeah, we're gonna have to have one installed. When the mom recovers nicely from that bad fly on the I'm watching golf. That's what I'm doing. I'm watching golf. The most boring, tedious thing on all of TV, and I'm watching it. I gotta change the channel. Going into the back remote is way over there. Oh, this is kind of entertaining. I'm sorry the vacuum cleaner interferes with your TV watching, but how else am I going to get the house clean? Why should I give up the vacuum cleaner? Why don't you give up TV? Give up TV? What planet are you from? Why not give up breathing or eating Italian food? I'll make a deal with you. If you can go for one day, 24 little hours without watching TV, I'll stop using the vacuum. Might be worth it. You got a deal, fella. This is the easiest bet I ever won in my life. You think I have no willpower? Ha! I'll show you. Hmm, Channel 48, Yogurt Around the World, a 16-hour documentary about why nobody likes it but everybody eats it. I've been looking forward to that all week. Uh -uh. I don't care if they rerun the creature that devoured Muncie. I'm not watching. Hmm. Look what's on channel 37. The creature that devoured Muncie. A cinema classic. To think they gave the Oscar that year to Gandhi. I gotta watch it. Channel 91, Kung Fu Dance Party. My favorite! Channel 83, a new game show. Get the buzzer, win a cookie. I know. I'll do something constructive with my time. I'll go to sleep. He won't last. Garfield not watch TV for a whole day? Can't be done. I can go without TV. I can go as long as I want without it. 19 hours, 47 minutes, and 11 seconds to go. Sleep. The next best thing to TV. Garfield. Who said that? Just my imagination. Garfield. You didn't hear anything. Garfield. Who's there? Garfield, why have you abandoned me? Who's there? Who are you? Why, it's just me, Garfield, your dear friend. After all the hours I've entertained you, don't you remember me? No! Odie, wake up! <laughs> Odie! <laughs> the TV's come to life, Odie. The TV said, talk to me. It said... Uh-huh. 
It was a joke. <laughs> Have you no sense of humor? <laughs> Must have been a bad dream. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten that ninth anchovy pizza with Canadian bacon. The TV coming to life. <laughs> Silly. Garfield. <gasps> there are a lot of good shows on me right now. <laughs> I think there's a game show on me right now, Garfield. Name that fish. You love Name That Fish. <laughs> there's a new talk show on me, Garfield. It stars a milkman from East Moline, Illinois. Get away! He was the only person in America who didn't have his own talk show. Now everyone has one. Wouldn't you like to watch it? You want to watch me. You know you do. No. Just turn the knob, Garfield. I'll entertain you. Garfield, what are you doing? Garfield, we had such fun together. Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> I hated to do it, but it was either him or me. I'm going to check the weather. Gee, that's funny. The TV doesn't work. Must be broken. So, Garfield, I guess there's no way you can lose our bet now. You win. So, I won't use the vacuum cleaner anymore, and when the TV's fixed, you can watch it all you want. Take your time. Call a slow repairman. Make him take it into the shop. I don't understand it. I never understand that cat. Oh, well. John. I'm not good enough for you anymore. We used to really clean up together. Remember the way we used to glide across the floor? The way you liked to hum in tune with my motor? Oh, my God.